Hi everyone and welcome to another book review. This one is for a non-fiction read um, and that is Weirdopedia. This is by Alex Palmer. There was a lot of interesting stuff in this. Um, it's just random facts about different things. Um, you have different chapters of the things. So for example, there's interesting facts about food and drink, love and sex, friends and family, mind, body, work, out and about, insects, family, ex family, etc., etc. So there's um, a total of 12 chapters in this. This was 188 pages. And this particular edition was published by Sky House Publishing Incorporated. Here's the issue that I had. I felt like there was a good amount of this that was outdated. Um, this was, when was this originally published? Um, hi, Spoves. 2012. So it's been 10 years. So some of the stats that they used has got to be out of date. So I think this was entertaining at parts. There are definitely some things that remain would remain valid, like the most poisonous whatever, or, you know, um, or facts about speech, about rationality, um, addiction, parents, uh, mustard, potato chips, just random stuff. There are stuff that I think would still be valid today, but other stuff as far as heights and weights and other statistics, like what percentage of something makes up something else. Um, what the percentage of women do this, or percentage of men do this, or think this way or that way. It's like it's been 10 years, the population has grown, certain statistics would need to be redone at this point. So it is a little bit outdated, in my opinion, because there are certain things that will just change. And if you read this, you will get that vibe as well. Um, for example, let me see if I can find... Um, talks about sarcasm. Let's see, I'm trying to find one that has a statistic where it's, um, where it, okay. Um, okay, so in 2012, I mean, this is one where it's like, I guess it could still do this, but how accurate is this particular statistic? It says procrastination affects 25% of adults. Okay, that was in 2012. Is that an accurate? I, I would think if you're going to say of adults, you know, 25%, it would be a little bit more, I don't know. I 25% just sounds a little too round of a number for something like that. Um, so I would think that that was probably kind of just rounded. Um, Let's see, more American, oh, here you go. These, so Americans prefer sons to daughters. According to the uh, survey, it says 40% of Americans said if they could only have one child, they would prefer a boy. Well, 28% said that about girls. Um, and it says that that poll, let's see, is changed a little from the poll in Gallup that took place in 1941 where it was 38 to 24% boys versus girls. So it's like, okay, it's been 10 years. How much has that statistic changed? So there are things like that about various subjects where it's like, this was 10 years ago. I bet this is no longer an accurate percentage or statistic. So th certain tests would need to be redone. <laughs> um, I think pretty much every decade. Five years, I think, gives a little wiggle room, but once you hit the 10-year mark, I think it would need to be redone. So if um, Alex Palmer were to do like a Weirdopedia 2.0, then I would definitely check it out again because it would definitely be much more accurate, but then there'd have to be another one in <laughs> another 10 years, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, It's just stuff like that. There is one thing about, oh, for one example, there's a thing in here about people actually dying from overhydration by drinking too much water. That is a thing. I have heard about that. And in this, it mentions two names of people who did die from overhydration. One was, a, I think, a marathon runner and one was a police officer. But again, where this was published in 2012, so I'm sure that the stats are probably 11 years old or older, it's like, well, has anyone died since then? Is anyone more recent from this overhydration, dying from overhydration? So, I mean, it was interesting, but just be aware if you do pick this up that probably a good portion of the stats in this 
are out of date. Um, not everything has statistics. Some of it's just interesting facts, um, like this one. Uh, living in big cities may be driving you crazy. Imaging scans of people living in large urban cities show stronger reactions to stress than those who live outside cities. So that's not a statistic thing. That's just been kind of, I guess, proven type of a thing, and it's just an interesting fact. There's a lot more interesting facts than there are statistics in this, which I kind of appreciated, but at the same time, it'd be nice to know more statistics, but again, statistics, when you're going to have them in a book, they do tend to become very much outdated, definitely in 10 years. So, very interesting. It was fun. There was some stuff that I did just kind of roll my eyes, like, oh, I don't really care about this, but other people would find it interesting. But overall, I am going to give this a three stars, mostly because one, it was interesting, but two, I really feel, yeah, I just keep saying it, I just really feel that there's some stuff in here that is definitely outdated. So, um, but definitely worth picking up. Um, but just, if you do, just keep in mind of the outdatedness of it. But if there is a Weirdopedia 2.0, I would recommend that over this one, which I don't think that exists, but you never know. I may just not have seen it yet. So anyway, so three stars, and it was good for what it is and would have been better if I had read it when it was originally published. So that's it for this review. So until next time, oh, let me know if you have read this um, and what your thoughts on, or if you have some weird, strange facts that you like to share, then definitely let me know in the uh, comment section below. So until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book, and I'll talk to you later.